John Brown went off to war to fight on a foreign shore. His mother still was proud of him, but his sense was straight and tall in his uniform and all. His mother's face broke out into a grin. Such a look so fine. I'm glad you were son of mine. Well, you make me proud to know that you wear the gun. Do what the captain says, by the bellows you will get. And we'll put them on the wall, what you get. That old train pulled out. John's mother began to shout, telling everybody in the neighborhood. That's my son that's about to go. He's a soldier now, you know. But she made my show that the neighbors understood. She got a letter once in a while, and her face broke into a smile. She showed him some of the people from next door. And she begged about her son in his uniform and gun. In his thing she called a good old fashioned war. Then the letter ceased to go. Long time they didn't come. They ceased to come for about ten months or more. Say go down and eat the train. Your son is coming home from the war. She smiled and went right down. She looked up and all around. But she didn't see her soldier boy inside. But as all the people passed, she saw her son at last. And when she did, she could not believe her eyes. And his face was so shallow, and his hands were blown away, and he went up in a base. In a voice that she didn't know Why she couldn't even recognize his face Tell me, my darling son What they gonna do? How is it that you've come to be this way? Well, he tried his best to talk But his mouth can hardly move And his mother had to tell him this away But I went off the wall Thought it was the best thing I could do I was on the battlefield You were home at the cloud You were there Standing in my shoes When I thought that I was there What am I doing here? I'm trying to kill somebody Won't I try? But the thing that scared me most my enemy came close. I could see that his face looked just like that. Close. And he dropped his bed.